All right, guys. Welcome to the chaos. I don't know how much we're going to get done today, but this is also on my year goals list to accomplish, which is to get this side, which is my office, this side of the room. This is a massive room. I think it used to be a sunroom or a floor room, whatever you want to call it. It probably still is considered that, <laughs> but um, half of this is my office slash craft storage because I don't really have a craft table in here. The other half is where the litter box is, the cat food is. We have an extra refrigerator and I think it's where we're going to build our extra pantry storage at. So anyway, with that being said, I don't know how much we're going to get done with it today. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to need a break from it tomorrow or if we're going to be able to just pick right back up tomorrow. I'm trying to make sure nothing is just going to fall. So anyway, let's move the couch, dog and all, because I need a little bit more room and then we're going to get started. They're so uneven. All right, that's good enough. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep
editing this footage because all of this has already changed. Like, it's just unreal to me. I, I mean, you'll see because I, I did record it, obviously. Um, but yeah, most of this has changed and is different and it's just wow um so anyway <laughs> I think in the last video I said I was going to talk about getting different editing software because this particular software that I'm currently using has been acting up a lot and I think part of the issue is that it is you have to have the internet to use it so you can't work offline which is another issue I have because it would be nice to just you know like if we're traveling or something to be able to edit in the car while we're driving or something like that so anyway I am looking at I think it's called Mo Moavi or something like that um, and that one is a one-time purchase um, software. So it's kind of like if I was to get Final Cut Pro or something where it's just a one-time purchase. Of course, I'm not getting Final Cut Pro because that's like $300 plus, dollars, whereas the Moavi, I believe, was like $80 um, one-time purchase. And in it's looks like it is a good beginner software and that's what I need I need something that is good for beginners because I am not a professional editor I obviously I mean you go you watch my videos so you know I'm not that great at editing um and a lot of my content doesn't really need to be edited too much because you know I I mean I do cleaning and cooking stuff like that mostly so stuff that you don't really need to have a lot of cuts in obviously you know every now and then you'll see that I cut something down well maybe you see I don't know how good my transitions are but for the most part I usually just speed things up and we go from there and what's really sad is watching this because it's sped up times three. So that should just tell you how slow I move <laughs> in real life. Oh my. Because this is, this is sped up times three. Also, doing this hurt my back so bad. Like trying to get this tree working right. And now the tree's not even plugged in. And I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to put it back over here in my area or if I'm going to put it in the guest room. I haven't figured that part out yet. I want to get the guest room done before I make a decision on the tree. If there's not a spot in the guest room for it, I'm going to put it here in my office where I was going to put Stitch's bed and Stitch's bed will just have to be in front of the window or something. Um, because now that the couch is back in the living room, which you have not seen yet, <laughs> Um, but yeah, now that the couch is back in the living room, which by the way, for any of you guys worried, this couch is not heavy to push. Now, if I was to have to lift it, it'd be a different story, but pushing it, it's not that heavy because it's on these floors. The hardest part is when the leg gets stuck on an uneven tile, but, um, even that's not that hard. I just have to readjust and push it a different way so before anyone starts like freaking out that I'm pushing heavy things on my own the couch isn't heavy to push around it actually pushes pretty good and it, except for like in the beginning where you saw it got stuck on a tile and it it does always like kind of knock me for a loop when it hits these uneven tiles because I wasn't really expecting it but then when I moved it again, I I was more prepared to hit uneven tiles so it didn't catch me off guard. So anyway, um, now I'm just kind of messing around with stuff and 
the the thing is that the tree threw everything off and I think that's part of like I like the idea of having the tree all year and decorating it for different holidays which I did not decorate it for Easter I barely decorated it for Valentine's Day so um, but I've also played with the idea of keeping the Disney ornaments on it after Christmas and just getting a new topper for like changing out the toppers during the different holidays and maybe adding in like holiday flair every now and then because a lot of my Disney ornaments are not specifically Christmas. Like I have a few that have like Santa hats and stuff like that on them. But for the most part, the Disney ornaments are not Christmas themed. Also, all these are my mom's clothes that would be made into, um, those are the pillows. So those are the ones that will be made into pillows. I'm just checking to make sure they have the initials. I don't know why I didn't go and buy like a silver Sharpie or something. Um, I just used what I could find at my parents' house at the time, which was a black Sharpie to mark everyone's initials on what shirt they wanted me to make into a pillow. I have not done that yet. My mom passed away in 2021 and um, I, I want to get, and this sounds so stupid because I feel like I'm going to get everything perfect and then we're going to move and then I it's just going to be a pattern all over again but I think this summer after the guest room is done this room is basically done um I think then is when we are going to start working on the pillows the quilt uh, may take a little more time I'm making the quilt for my dad and it's not something he asked for. In fact, he didn't ask to keep anything. Um, and my dad, I don't know. My dad is a military man. So it's he doesn't show emotions like normal people. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but... The day after my mom's funeral, my dad left and went to Wisconsin to spend some time with his friends uh, that could not come to the funeral because uh, the husband, or, you know, he's, there is my dad's old army buddy. And so, but him and his wife are really good friends to my parents, have been since God uh, forever. But um, they served in Desert Storm together and all this other stuff. So they're really good friends. And they couldn't come to the funeral because um, the man had surgery. So uh, my dad went up to see them and just kind of get away. And one of the things he asked for before he left was that we clean out my mom's closets. And I say closets because she had clothes in almost every closet in the house. So... And that's what we did and we donated uh, I think we took three carfuls of clothes um, to donations and what you saw there minus what I kept and I kept well I've gotten rid of a lot of what I kept already um, but I kept like three garbage bags full of clothes for myself like things that I really liked and I did eventually try them on and I got rid of the things that did not fit or that I did not like on me so I I got rid of a lot of things and what's left besides what I actually did keep of hers is the stuff for the pillows and blankets anyway so my mom my mom had a lot of clothes she was a hoarder of clothes I think I've already said this, but my younger brother is the same exact way. And I told him that when I was up there, I told him, I said, Brendan, that's my brother's name, by the way. I said, it's okay to keep, you know, sentimental things, but we need to figure out, you know, should we put your sentimental items in like a tote and kind of set them up 
so you know they're not just falling on the floor and stuff like that and you know getting ruined because I look at it this way if something was to happen you know he he says these are sentimental to him if something was to happen in his house and they were in the state that like I've cleaned his closet since then so it's not that bad but I still think you know that's put your stuff in a tote and that's keep it a little bit more protected um unless you want to like get some display cases or something and display them but to just have them sitting in your closet and getting yellowed on the hangers is gonna do no good so um we're gonna look into that uh I also I don't know I've looked up house cleaners for my brother and I sent him I told him I had like two people that seemed pretty good and he never responded back to me so I don't know what he wants to do I was told by my dad to find him a house cleaner and I did I did my part I did my part guys I told him his other option was to just fly me up once a month and I'll clean his house for him so I mean I I, I don't know if the issue is maybe he doesn't want strangers in his house because when he lived when he didn't live downtown he did have a house cleaner but it was a friend's mom that cleaned his house for him so I don't know I think maybe he just doesn't want strangers in his business and I was serious when I told him he could just fly me up once a month and I would clean his house I have no issues doing that I don't have a job you know, I'm pretty flexible, so if he needs me to do that, I would do that. You know, that's what sisters are supposed to do anyway. <laughs> um, I'm actually the middle child, but I feel like sometimes um, I'm the oldest. That If you've ever seen Encanto, Encanto, whatever, however you say it, the song Surface Pressure, that I know it says... Uh, something about being the older sister and blah 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 but I'm the only sister and I feel like everything falls on me everything so and I'll I, I'll get more into that I think in the next video because we're going to be out of time soon but I want to kind of talk about um, what I mean by everything falls on me um, and why why I feel like it's not fair <laughs> I mean I don't know how else to explain it but yeah anyway um we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye here because we are almost out of time and I'll just put a little music at the end or something but I do want to thank you guys so much for watching this video Stay tuned for the the uh, update because this, like I said, this is all different. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, give it a like, comment down below. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.